Hugh from the Kooks, and welcome to my zone. So this is um, a Les Paul signature. I think he only made like 83 of them, basically, um, to his kind of, they're famous because he designed it to his like ear, his like spec. And it's different to a normal Les Paul. You can kind of control the impedance here. So you can have like a kind of natural grit. Or you can kind of chill that out. Or it can go even harder. And then you can flip it in and out of phase here, which is cool. And stereo inputs as well. So you can have stereo signal. But um, I like it because it's kind of, it's got the kind of, trebly, lovely glassiness of like a strap, but the body of a 335. And there's the gold top as well. So I think he, he made like 83 of these and they made like a, over, just over a thousand of those. Uh, my name's Luke Pritchard. I'm in a band called The Kooks. I basically keep it really simple. I think he does like the kind of um, sort of wide range in sounds. I've been touring this one. This is like a newer model. I've got I've got a, a 67 that I'm gonna I just got, which I'm gonna start touring. So it's a little bit like nerve wracking touring old guitars, but um, but you know you got you got to do it. You, you need to play them. So I basically have my telly because that's like particularly the, like the old Kook stuff, like the first two albums, like it's all on telly. That's like my sound. And then yeah, I've got this one, the Atlantic. They're great, it's really nice. It's still, because I'm, I'm doing my own model of it, I'm still like, this is just a sort of basic model, but we're working on a kind of signature model. We, this is like a MIDI controller. Um, we've got like, I guess about four different delays and then like four or five different crunches. Hard on is like a 60s. And like a chorus gain. And then if I want more, um, I had a tech of mine build between like the clean sound and the hard on. And we called it yellow because that was my favorite color at the time. And that's this. Which is kind of not quite a super hard on, just a little kind of below that. We've got like a big chorus sound. And then solo sound. There's an acoustic simulator. Because some of our songs, it's just me playing you need that kind of depth of two guitars. So we just added a sim to it. And then we have this thing, it's called, it says plus, but I don't know if that's its name. It creates like a loop. sometimes have to like turn around and play the guitar so I have a sustain pedal there that kind of holds the note and then I turn around and have to play the guitar and then Mellotron it's just for shine <laughs> these days like MIDI digital instruments are just just as good really I mean well that's I mean, if you're a purist, you'd probably argue against that. Sure. Like, the sound of tape is always going to be warmer. But for a venue like this and for a gig and for the sake of traveling and kind of having a sound that's kind of accurate, I mean, you know, you don't have to really be traveling with a massive actual Mellotron these days. Yeah. 